Hey, hey, what's up, y'all? This is Carlos, and thank you for tuning in to On The Needle. It's been a little while since I've released a vinyl review, so I decided why not come back with a bang and talk about one of my favorite artists. So before I give you a clue or let you know who this artist is, I'm gonna give you a few hints here. So she is one of hip hop's pioneers. She's one of the most creative artists that I have ever witnessed in my lifetime. I think she's really amazing. Uh, for those of you who watch the versus battles with that are hosted by Timbaland and Swiss Beats, she's one of those artists where she really could do a versus with herself. Um, and that's no exaggeration. She truly could. And that is none other than Missy Elliott, one of my favorite artists. So today we're talking about the cookbook. It's my first and only vinyl that I own of Missy Elliott. I've actually tried to find all of them on vinyl, but this is the only one I found. She tweeted it a few months ago in celebration of the album going platinum this year, which is a huge feat because Missy is the only female rap artist who has six consecutive platinum albums. That's huge because especially in her heyday, this last studio album that she released was in 2005. So at that time, that was right at the beginning of the streaming era coming in, but in Missy's prime in her heyday, she was right in the middle of that time where if you sold a million records, that's because people spent their hard-earned money and they actually brought, bought your album. You know, they're spending anywhere from $10 to $17 uh, purchasing a cassette or a CD to support you. So in that time, that was more of a pure sales era. So I feel like now, while it's definitely great that you hear of artists that are selling a million, two million, three million records, uh, people just really aren't putting up those kinds of numbers in pure sales anymore. Um, unless you're somebody like maybe an Adele and even to be honest, I don't even think she's putting up those types of numbers um, Just you know right out the gate. So Missy I, this cookbook album, I'm telling you I love all of her albums But I have to say if I had to pick one that's my favorite this one might be it um, The reason why is because I feel like Missy is such a conceptual artist Everything she does is with purpose even when you see her music videos. I mean, it's just light years ahead of what everyone else is doing and what they're thinking about. I mean, she's just really so far ahead of her time to me. And when you think about a cookbook, you think about things like desserts, appetizers, maybe drinks, entrees that are in there. And this album really represents that because she has, you know, sexy songs, uh, songs like Meltdown and Delicious with Slick Rick. Um, and then she has very vulnerable songs um, even apologetic, which is kind of a little different to see from Missy because usually she has more of a harder exterior on a lot of her songs. So uh, on the song Remember Remember When, which is one of my favorites, um, that meshes her R&B and a little bit of the hip hop side. She raps a little bit on there too. She's asking for forgiveness for cheating on the person that she's with. And even songs like Time and Time Again is a slow jam but it's kind of hard, edgy. Again, it mixes that R&B and the hip hop element. Um, just, ugh, I just can't say enough good things about this album. Absolutely no skips. Uh, just really solid all the way through. And she has several guest artists on here. So as I mentioned, um, you know, she has Slick Rick, Mike Jones, who's from Houston, my hometown. Uh, and then Fantasia, who I think some of Fantasia's best songs are when she collaborated with Missy Elliott. Uh, Mary J. Blige, who's uh, pretty much a regular collaborator with Missy Elliott, Elliott as well. Uh, Fat Man Scoop, Sierra on the classic Lose Control. Of course, everyone knows that song. Uh, Bad Vibes Cartel. So let me tell y'all about something about that one uh, in case you don't know. So in case you haven't checked out this show on Hulu called The Dropouts, based on a true story uh, about this lady named Elizabeth, um, also Houston-based. <laughs> she had this billion dollar company, I guess you could say it was like dealing with blood work or blood technology, turned out to be a bus. Anyway, really good show, check it out. But there are some musical references throughout the show. Um, a lot of hip hop songs, R&B songs that are referenced and one of them is Missy's Bad Man that is the last track on this album. So what's so great about that is Cookbook was released in 2005. So we're talking about an album that has a song selected and picked out for a show that came out in 2022. We're talking nearly 20 years later of an album that still has this cultural impact. 
Um, and it wasn't even a single. That was one of the album cuts. So just really just shows her artistry, I think. Um, the interesting thing about this album, though, that I thought that was really odd was Lose Control was a huge single, but there really weren't any other big, big singles from this album. Um, she did have some other videos like Teary Eyed, which finds Missy in this really, I guess you could say vulnerable and almost psychotic kind of state, if you will, um, where she's talking about, you know, this lover that she lost. Uh, Click Clack, it's another really hot song. I mean, that beat is just amazing. They, I think they have part of that at the end of the Lose Control video, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but anyway, a lot of these songs weren't necessarily singles, but when you hear them, they still have that classic vibe and appeal. And really, to be honest, I feel like a lot of these songs could be played today and they would fit right in uh, where the music that we love and we know today would just totally fit in. I love Missy. I'm telling y'all, I'm there are certain artists. I'm not real. I wouldn't consider myself a groupie behind certain artists or starstruck. But let me tell you, if I ever met Missy in person, I don't know what I would do. I mean, she, I just have so much respect for her as an artist. Um, even when you think of like the versus battles that Timbaland and Swiss Beats have concocted here over the pandemic, when you think about a versus and artists who have this wide catalog. I mean, Missy could really do a versus with herself, uh, with songs that she's written and produced versus her own songs. Um, and she would kill it. I think it probably would be, probably would be one of the highest rated uh, versus episodes if they decided to do that. Um, but I mean, really, who's holding her in a versus? I can't, I can't think of anybody. But this album is, oof, it's just amazing. And she said it was a limited edition when she tweeted this. So I don't know how many copies are out there. I don't even know if it's still available. I don't care. All I know is I got mine when she tweeted it that day. I went out and purchased it. So Missy, please let us know when you have some more albums on vinyl because I will definitely pick them up. I love all of her music. Uh, like I said, she's great. She is by far, by far my favorite female hip hop artist because she's so innovative. She doesn't have to depend on selling sex and things like that. Nothing, not a knock against those artists who do, but she even talks about sex and has sexual songs, but it's in such a way that it's just unheard of, unconventional, um, in a way that just makes you feel good. And it, it just, I, I just can't explain it. I can't say enough good things about Missy. If you don't like Missy, then God, you just don't have good taste. <laughs> But anyway, let me know what you all think about Missy Elliott's cookbook album. And uh, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe to the channel and look out for more videos to come. Thanks for tuning in.